So here's a question for you. What is by far the largest organ in the body, almost 20 square feet in area, and without it, you would die a painful death? It's your skin. What you don't know about your skin is there are more living things on it than all humans on Earth combined. There's a whole universe of living things inside and on your body. But don't go grabbing that Perel bottle just yet because getting rid of these bugs can kill you. Why and how? That's coming up next. There are more bacteria on a square inch of your skin than the population of Manhattan. In fact, some parts of your skin, like your underarms, front of your elbow, belly button, between your toes and private areas have 10 times as many bacteria. And why is that? Because these areas are usually moist and dark. And this is the kind of environment bacteria love, and they grow and thrive in these areas. Most of the other parts of your skin, like your forearms, thighs, and the back of your hands are dry. So just like a desert, there just aren't as many living things there because the conditions are not good for them. But it turns out that almost all the normal bacteria in your skin is good for you. Why? Because they keep the bad bacteria away by taking up space or creating a microenvironment that keeps bad bacteria from taking hold and growing. And there are billions of bad bacteria on various surfaces or even floating in the air just looking for a spot to land so that they can live and make you sick. We really need to think of the natural bacteria on our skin, not as foreign invaders, but as part of us. Like an organ, such as the liver or pancreas, it is part of our human body, without which we really can't survive. I wasn't joking when I said a universe of bacteria. The average human has 100 trillion bacteria on and inside their body. In fact, your body is the equivalent of more than 1,000 toilet seats in a public bathroom. That's right, if you're scared of sitting on a toilet seat, maybe you should be even more scared of what's on your own body. If a different life form from another planet encountered a human being, they would see us mainly as being a convenient host for bacteria to live and grow and thrive on, rather than the other way around. But like I said, don't go grabbing that bottle of Purell, because consider this, Using antiseptic hand washes all the time or even bathing too often can be hazardous to your health because killing the natural bacterial flora on your skin is not good for you. The reason? Because bad bacteria can take its place and cause problems. We are only beginning to find out the influence that our natural bacteria have on us. Science is showing that the bacteria not only influence but control our immunity and health. In addition, some of the latest research shows that bacteria also have a big influence on our mood and behavior. So the influence of bacteria goes beyond just the pathology. We have merely scratched the surface and finding out the many ways that bacteria affect us. What we do know is that if you don't have all these bacteria and other microorganisms on your body, just like losing an organ, you would either be sick all the time or die a slow, painful death. So let the bacteria thrive. Live and let live.